nigga yeah. open up I saw my soul a good price out of sight and my whole got talent right whole squad ran do that shit Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Zayd and welcome guys back to the channel and today guys I'm going to be showing you the Independence DLC pack review guys. If you guys like this DLC, please hit the like button guys, that'll be absolutely appreciated. Now let's first start off with a new weapon that we call the Barbecue Floor. Basically this is a new weapon, instead of just a normal knife you get as your starting weapon, well this is going to be a brand new weapon for the start and this is what it can do. Basically, pretty amazing durability. This is what it really does, you can just freaking stab the living shit out of zombies, class. like that, look at that, oh yeah, suck on that zombie. Now that is what the barbecue fork does, now there's also other weapons I can choose from which I actually have placed on the ground for us right now, which you guys might enjoy. Uh, let's start with the one of the good weapons, the Freedom Ringer. The Freedom Ringer is basically one of the, uh, the equipment and guns, called the Freedom Ringer is a, basically a baseball bat. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. This is what this amazing weapon looks like. This old baseball bat, it's American baseball bat. So let's try this out on a zombie, shall we, guys? So let's look for a zombie around the map somewhere. Here's one coming towards me. Oh yeah, yes. Start. Look at this guy. Oh, I got my barbecue fork in there too. A second, let's just whack this guy real quick. Oh my god, boys. Suck on that zombie, like honestly, this bat is, this durability on this bat is just literally insane. Anyway, let's go ahead and move to the next weapons, as we can see we've got on our list here. Let's start off with this real quick, and it's called the Gorilla Meester, is what it is. Basically, this is another knife weapon. I don't know really what you should kind of call this weapon, it's just basically like a, I think I, well it's like, it's got, I don't even know how you pronounce that, what kind of weapon that is again. Like a natural, like in real life, I wouldn't even have a clue. Anyway, let's go try this out on a zombie. Hiya! Wow, man, that, that that's insane. Like the, the way it's the way the noise, the sound effects on the bat as well. It's cool. Sorry, not the bat, the weapon. See, literally, what would you call this if you saw one of these weapons in real life again? Like, what would you call this thing? Anyway, whatever it is, guys, it is a pretty good gun. Pretty good gun, I mean pretty good uh, weapon, and yeah, it's pretty good for killing zombies I guess. Anyway, let's move on to the uh, weapons, which are the guns. Let's start with the Pyro Launcher. Pyro Launcher is basically uh, a gun which shoots fireworks and stuff, and I think it makes explosions, I'm not sure, but let's go and give this a go. Let's look for a zombie. There's a zombie right over there, guys. So we're gonna shoot him. Holy shit, that's pretty good. That is that. Oh my god, boys. Look at that, that's insane, one second. It literally sets the zombies on fire, what the hell? That's insane, that weapon. Out of all the weapons in State of Decay so far, these new DLC weapons are my favourite, like, not gonna lie. Like, I literally love all the DLC weapons. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to our next DLC weapon. I think this is the Firework Launcher, I'm sure. No, it's got the Star Shank Launcher. Let's pick that up. And uh, if we can swap this up real quick for this. Now let's give this baby a shot. I think it shoots out like a whole entire fire rocket to a zombie. For instance, there's this. Alright. What the hell, man? That's insane. Bro, that's insane. The, the weapons for the DLC, the independence pack, are just top, like they're insane. Anyway guys, I think we should just move on to the cars. You know, the cars are really insane car, I really love the cars. So, let's start off with this amazing car real quick, and it's called the Pyrohawk. As you can see, pretty good car, it looks like an original car. Yeah, look at that, look at that. This looks like an original car, guys, honestly. But guys, can I tell you something? It's such an original car, Because this baby's got fireworks! Roll. Zombie comes near you, it's gonna kill him, just watch. Hell freaking yes. That is literally an insane car, I'm not gonna lie. This car, pretty lit. One of my favorite cars in this, in the Independence DLC, is this car right here, because it's really fast as well. It's pretty lit. So I get this kill this motherfucker. Okay, that. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's move this car real quick. 
So this is the Burnator, uh, basically what it does is it sets fire from the sides of the car and basically it sets on fire like this. That is literally just the same. And the way you trigger these effects guys is just by hitting the horn, that's all it. It doesn't make out that, this is basically the horn. That's all this is guys, it's the horn. Like look at that. Anyway, let's move to the van here. Flash this guy out, go away, come on. Hell yeah. Now, this is the meat wagon. Now you're probably wondering, what, what, what is the point of calling this the meat wagon? Now what is this to do with meat? Well if we hit the horn button guys, it actually drops up a peg up the side. And then the zombies are attracted to that. Look, they're all going to it now. See, they're just attracted to these piggies. Come on the back of the van. That's all it is guys, that's all it is. Well, that's why it's called the meat wagon. Because it basically it drops out dead pigs from the back of the, the back of the van. And then the zombies are attracted to it. Like, it's literally insane. Because when the zombies are attracted to the pigs, then that means we can just go up to them and just, just kill them. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Just hit them up. Anyway guys, I think this will do it for this video guys, I hope you did enjoy the showcase, maybe there was a lot of fuck ups for me doing with my amazing, you know, commentary, it's not really the best to be honest, I need to get better at it, considering I've not done YouTube in quite a while, but you know, give me props for actually trying to give you pretty good communication here on the, on the video. Um, but guys, thank you everybody for watching, if you guys are new, please subscribe, turn on those post notifications and drop a like on today's video, that would be absolutely appreciated guys, anyway guys, my name is Zane, and yeah, roll that outro.